Do you have problems staying on track as you go about doing your daily administration work? Well, today I want to show you how you might do that a little bit better using some links in OneNote. So stay with me and I'll show you how I do it. Hi everybody, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today what I would like to do is talk to you about a morning routine, uh, an administrative workflow, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, but I've had a lot of questions lately about adding links into OneNote. So I wanted to go over the five different kinds of links that I have added to my OneNote planner uh, throughout the years. They might help you uh, get some ideas for links that you would like to include in your own planner to help you with that administrative process that we all have to go through on a daily basis. So uh, before we get into the computer, let me just say welcome or welcome back. I am so happy that you are here with me today. And if you like or learn anything in today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please leave me a cat emoji if you can see my cat in the background up there sleeping. Uh, and um, think about subscribing if you have not already done so. Uh, I would love to have you in our community here at A Crystal Clear Life. And with all of that said, now let's jump into the computer and check out those links. Well, you can see here on my screen, I have a page set up that's talking about an administration routine. Now, really, this could be any kind of workflow that you have, but I have a process that I go through every single morning or in the late afternoon as I'm going through and setting up for the next day. And it's kind of an administrative routine. I plan things based on what I'm going to talk about today. Okay. So one of the first things uh, that I get asked all the time is, can you put a link in OneNote to your Google Calendar? Yes, you can. You cannot embed your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar into OneNote so that it shows all the time, but you can put a link to that and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to open a Google window and let's go ahead and throw that on this side of my screen and we'll put one note on the other side. So now we have uh, Google on one side and one note on the other side. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to my Google calendar. So you see, I've logged in here and I'm going to go all the way down to my calendar. And when my calendar comes up, you know, I can look around through the various weeks if I would like to uh, do that. And all I need to do from this point is I just need to go up here into this top bar and I need to copy this URL. Okay. And I can just copy that and take it back into OneNote and I can paste it. Now, um, Lots of times when I'm doing my weekly review, what I like to do is I actually like to uh, have my Google Calendar up on one side, especially as I'm doing my weekly review, and I might set it for, uh, you know, not maybe a week at a glance, but maybe, uh, you know, a daily kind of thing so that I can see everything that's going on, all right? But for today, I'm talking about links. I'm trying to stay focused. Um, and so what I would do over here is where it says links to calendar, all I need to do is click in that box and I can go up here to insert a uh, link, which is down here, which is also control K for those, those of you who like, um, you know, the shortcut keys and I can put text to display. I can say, this is my Google calendar and where it says address, I can simply paste in that URL right there and say, okay. All right. And I spelled Google wrong. <laughs> That's all right. Let me show you how to edit that link, edit link. And I can change that to an E 
and we'll go ahead and make it proper, make that a capital G. And there we have our Google Calendar, okay? Now, I want to show you that when I click on this link, so I'm gonna go somewhere else on here, and when I click on this link, you will see that it opens a brand new, fresh Google Calendar page for me, so it is updated um, and ready to go every time that I click on that particular link. I like that because now I'm not worried about, you know, something coming in that I might've missed an appointment that somebody added to my calendar or something like that. Okay. All right. So back here in OneNote, uh, I now have my link to my Google calendar. Let's make these pages a little bit smaller so that you can see better. Okay. And the next thing that I like to do after, you know, I've looked to see what appointments or what tasks I have to do today. Uh, I then like to check my email. Okay. So let's get to my Google, uh, email. So I can go over here and open a new tab and I can, uh, click for, uh, Gmail, which is right here. And then that will come up and you will see my Gmail account there. Uh, let's see. And all I need to do is exactly the same thing. I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to copy this URL, make a copy of it, and I'm gonna take it back over here to OneNote and where it says email, again, I can right click, I can say insert link or control K and the text to display is my Gmail account, okay? And then I can put in my link, paste that in there and say, okay. And again, every time I click on that link, you'll see over here in Google that it opens a brand new uh, window for me so that if anything new has come in uh, while I've been away doing other things, uh, it will come right up to the most current inbox, okay? I think that's great. All right. Now let's say the next thing I do after I check my calendar and I've checked my email to see if there's anything, you know, critical, uh, that needs to go on. I like to go and take a look at maybe a Google sheet that I have. Okay. Uh, maybe I track my, uh, stocks or something like that. Okay. So again, let's go over here, open a new window and we will go down to Google sheets. And in Google Sheets, you can see uh, that I have a finance tracker here. So I'm going to click on that. And again, I am going to click on that particular URL right up there at the top. This one happens to be a long one, but don't worry about that. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go over here to my Google Sheet. And again, let's use that control K. All right, and I want this to say um, finance tracker. And then I'm going to click and paste that in there and say, okay. And again, I spelled finance incorrectly. I'm not going to fix this one, but I do want to show you that every time I click on that, again, it will bring that Google sheet up for me, fresh, refreshed with any information. If it's something that's collecting information from online and all of that, you will have uh, the current information when you click on that. All right. Okay. Now, another thing that I like to do is I like to know what's going on in the world. So again, back to my Google, I am going to uh, go to my a news program that I like, which is NPR, uh, and we'll go down to the NPR news. And again, we will, uh, copy that. You see our headlines are coming up there. Take that back over here. Um, control K to insert that link and I'll type NPR news and I will put the uh, address in there and say, Okay. All right. And then I have files that I might want to look for on my computer. All right. So I've checked the news. I've uh, checked my finances. Uh, I've checked my email. Now I might have files on my computer. Another thing that I like to do every day is write down any expenses, uh, that I might have. So let's go ahead and, um, 
uh, drop down our Google for right now. And um, files on my computer. So I have an expense tracker uh, that I use every day and it is stored uh, in OneDrive under documents under budget and finance right here. And under budget and finance, there is a file called expense tracker. Okay. So I am going to click on that file. And what I can do here um, is I can say copy as path. All right. Or uh, another way that I can do it is I can click here and go directly to link and say, uh, I want to have my expense tracker. And I can look at my file menu right here. So browse the file. Again, I can go to uh, documents, business and finance, expense tracker right there and say, okay. And that puts that file in there for me and I can say, okay. And now I have my expense tracker. So after I'm finished checking the news, I can click on expense tracker and uh, it will open for me in Excel my expense tracker. Okay. And so there's my expense tracker. I can go ahead and fill in what I need to fill in for the day. Uh, I have auto save on for that. So it gets saved right back up to the cloud and I'm good to go. Okay. All right. Now, one of the last things that I'd like to do, uh, is again, dealing with all those numbers that I have, uh, is I like to link to a certain page in OneNote. Again, this is part of my administration and that page, uh, if I go down here and click in this box and again, go up here to insert link, I can say, uh, the text to display is, um, my analytics. And again, my spelling is probably not the best, but uh, instead of looking on the World Wide Web here or looking in my files, what I can do here is I can go through and I can find the file that I want listed down here below. All of the notebooks that I have open on this particular uh, machine are open and listed here below. So you see right here, I have my Crystal Clear Life uh, folder and I have my analytics right here. And if I click that open, I can see there's a page there called 2024 stats. I'm going to click that and say, okay. All right. Now that adds the CCL analytics. And when I click on that one, it will take me to my analytics page where I track every day, how many subscribers I have, how many views, how much watch time, all of that stuff that I'm, you know, keeping track of so that I can see how my channel is growing. And again, a reminder, if you are not a subscriber, I certainly would appreciate uh, you subscribing to my channel. It really does help out YouTubers when you subscribe or comment or click the like button for their channel. Okay. All right. So hitting my back button quickly. Now you see here, I have created a fast and easy table for me to set up an administration routine for myself, whether I do it first thing in the morning or whether I do it late in the afternoon, getting ready for the next day, I can check my Google calendar. I can go to my uh, Gmail account. I can check the finances to see how my stocks are doing. I can check my news source uh, and see what the news and weather is doing. Uh, I can check my expense tracker if I've gone out and purchased anything or done law on any or done any online purchases for the day. Uh, and then I have a way to add my uh, analytics or my stats from YouTube there as well. Okay. Now, where does this live? Well, it can live anywhere that you want it to. I made a list here, a two column table, just so I could show you uh, what those things were referencing. But if I wanted to, I could come over here, highlight all of those, copy them. And then let's say, uh, you know, I want to take them to a weekly page. Maybe I want to make them part of one of my weekly pages. I can paste those here on the side. All right. And I have this font really big because I wanted you to be able to see it, but I can go to my home screen and I can make that font normal font size for, uh, something like my weekly page. 
And then I could simply drag that and put it right in my page. And then when I come to my calendar page each week, sorry, I didn't let go soon enough. When I come to my calendar page each week, all I need to do is say, okay, let me start with my administration. Let me check my calendar. Let me check my Gmail. Let me check my finances, which is still spelled wrong. Even though I have moved it over here, I can still edit it. So here we go. Edit. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's better. That was bothering me. Um, anyway, so I can move this from place to place. Now, you'll also notice when I set this table up that I did it, you know, one on top of the other in a very uh, horizontal, uh, excuse me, in a very uh, vertical way, right? But if you notice on this page, I also have links going across the top of my page in a horizontal way. So you could do that as well if you wanted to, all right? I have links up here for my inbox that I use every month, my monthly uh, dashboard, my health and habits uh, where I track more numbers, uh, my meal planning, my goals. Uh, there's another one for my CCL uh, analytics, my Google Calendar, uh, the books that I've been reading, okay? and on and on and on. So I created this list here across the top with lots and lots of links for things that I like to do very quickly and easily from my OneNote notebook, okay? All right, so it doesn't matter if they're in the web, on your computer, or somewhere bit buried deep into OneNote, you can find them and you can get to them quickly uh, using links, all right? Well, I hope this has helped you today. I know lots of people have asked about adding links to their calendars and things. Sure, you can do that. Of course you can in OneNote. Uh, and I hope that you've learned something new today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Okay, until next time. Bye.